Good morning everywhere you are following this channel. Right now is to inform you that General Eri Tumwine at 68 years old dies in Nairobi Hospital. The ex-National Resistance Army combatant breathed his rest on Thursday morning at Nairobi Hospital. Family members say Tumwine has admitted at the medical facility in critical condition two weeks ago. His situation kept deteriorating until this morning when he passed on. As the relatives informed us, Tumwine collapsed at marriage ceremony about three weeks ago. He was then lashed to Kampara Hospital for the urgent medical attention. However, his situation did not improve, hence the airlift to Nairobi. Family member said Tumwine succumbed to the cancer of the lungs. Tumwine served as the security minister in the cabinet of Uganda from March 2018 to 2021. Tumine was born on 12th April 1954 in Urunga, Barara district. He attended the Urunga Primary School, Barara High School, and then St. Henry College in Kitovu before joining Makarela University, where in 1977 he graduated with the degree of Bachelor's of Art in, in Fine Art together with the Diploma in Education, abbreviated DBA, FA, slash Deep E. D. and then after he specialized in the history of art painting he subsequently graduated from the cadet officer course at the tanzania military academy in munduri he also attended the senior commanding courses at the uganda senior command and staff college at kimaka in jinja in the country of uganda being a member of the pioneer class that graduated in 2005 Tumwine also holds further military qualification from the military academy in Vistri in the Soviet Union, current day Russia. This hero of NRM has started his career long ago in 1978. He interrupted his teaching career to join the Fronasa forces led by Museveni to fight the Idi Amin regime in 1981 when Museveni went to the bush to form the National Resistance Army. Eri Tumwine was there as well. Tumwine went with him. He is reported to have fired the first shot in the National Resistance Army War, which propelled the National Resistance Army and the National Resistance Movement into the power in Uganda around the years of 1986. During the fighting between the NRA and the UNLA, Tumwine sustained the a facial injury that led to Tumwine loss of sight in one eye. In 1984, Tumwine was named the commander of the army, a post he held until 1987 when he was succeeded by General Sarim Sare. Over the years, he served as the Minister of State for Defense in 1989. Director General of External Security Organization, ESO, from 1994 to 1996. Presidential Advisor from 1996 to 1998. And Chairman for the High Command Appeal Committee from 1986 until 1999. He has also continuously represented the UPDF in the Uganda Parliament since 1986. In September 2005, he was promoted to the rank of general in the UPDF and named to chair the UPDF general court marshal. On Monday, then 16 May 2022, Tumine was among 34 generals who were retired from the UPDF army. General Tumine will be remembered as a strong man of the security and the man of Kampara, and he was loved and hated in equal measure, where he is loved by many. Tumine also made remarks in public that have got him hated. For example, in 2020, while he still the security minister, General Tumine rattled the public when he said that the uh, state has power to shoot to kill protesters. Speaking in regard of the November 14 riots after the arrest of NUP presidential candidate Robert Chagurani, also known as Bobby Wine, Tumwine told the journalist he said that he had no apologize for anybody who was killed while attacking security forces as they tried to put down protesters. Tumwine said 
that the government will not tolerate any support from unnamed foreign forces is trying to disrupt the peace in Kampala. I said that although they commiserate with the family that lost your loved ones in the two days of running battle between the security forces and the supporter of National Unity Platform, Robert Chagurani, violence normally read to death and, and destruction. The statement did occur well with the member of public, men of whom attacked him, with many accusing him of holding sense of untitled Tumine has a several occasions crushed with the politicians, especially from the opposition, but on other occasions he has responded to them through his song. He has always made his role in liberating Uganda known by everyone. And on several occasions, whenever he was attacked, he would remind the public of this. Tumine crashed with the parliament in 2018 when he ordered to vacate the normal gallery in Nakasero that he had occupied and put his art piece but never paid the rent, said to have accumulated up to 1 billion shillings. However, despite being ordered to vacate, General Tumene didn't heed to the directive. Joining the army then, as we told you, he has been always the man of military then during his career, General Tumina also served as Minister of State, as we said, Director General of External Security Organization, ISO, and the Presidential Advisor on Security, and then Chairman of High Command Appeal Committee. Tumina then has also previously represented UPDF in the Parliament. Rest in peace, General Eri Tumine. We will miss you, every mentor, every person, everyone who has been in front of you, who you taught, is going to miss you. So, peace upon his family, and uh, we present the condolences. Stay with us. We are going to keep on updating you in every step since uh, this man is a big man. Then the barrier is going to be huge. We are going to be broadcasting it and uh, it is going to pass right, right here. Stay with us, subscribe and stay updated. In 1967, when he had finished senior six and in his long work, he came to teach in our school, in Burunga Primary School. Burunga Primary School is 81 kilometers from Barara, 81 miles. It's very far from Barara. A very remote school, but um, the best school in the world. So he came to teach there. And I saw him in class, a very young and proud teacher who loved himself. <laughs> but the real first encounter where I had a closer uh, relationship with him is I had visited a friend. And this story is very important because it up to now amazes me. I had visited a friend and then he came to visit that friend also. He came during the day, we watered the cows, and then I saw this man, he came with his own handbag, in which he had a towel, he had a soap, he had a slippers, he had a, 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 what do you call it, a changwe sponge. Now when we finished grazing, watering the cows, he went on the side and bathed, you know, for us, when we were in those days, when you are going to visit, you just go. You don't carry anything. <laughs> but here is this man who is so careful. And so that was the first I watched. I said, ah, this man is very, very careful. So we went home. Then in the evening, after milking the cows in the night, we sat around the fire. You people, it is very interesting. Thank you for asking this question. Because I can't believe the foresight. I can't believe the amount at that time when he had just finished university. What he's teaching now, the moment, what I remember about him is his household income teaching that night. As early as 1967 when he had finished senior six. He was telling this man where we had slept. He was telling him that you get a quarter of an acre grow bananas. In, 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 in our area, they call it a A quarter of an acre is a 
he's now talking of one acre, this, one acre, that, but that he was saying, get out of this nomadism. Have one, half a quarter an acre and wounded of bananas. Have quarter an acre of cassava. Have quarter an acre of beans or ground nuts. And to ensure that there is, uh, there is, uh, there, there is food, consider that there is food for, 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 for the family. And then stop nomadism. He was telling him that, he was telling him that, uh, he, was telling, he was telling this old man, uh, well, not very old, he was not yet very old, he was telling him, start, start fencing your land. You know? He advised him that for you in that area, because for him he was coming from Kashari, where there were no many trees, but in our area, we have very many acacia trees called Dengando. He was saying, you fence your land, you can even fence on the natural trees so that you have a stable and settled farm.